we all have homes and families and who live here and nobody wants to leave their home right now. Nobody wants to do this. This is awful. Families of GM Lordstown employees left figuring out what their future holds. But after a meeting with UAW Nationals, they have a new game plan. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Molly Reed. It's been almost one week since GM announced it's stopping production of the Chevy Cruze in Lordstown. Now here's a quick recap of what's happened so far. Last Monday, GM announced it would stop the production March 1st of 2019. Three days later on Thursday, the union held a candlelight vigil for the workers. And the next day, UAW 1112 President David Green went to Detroit to talk with the international UAW. Now we were there as Green and other UAW members left for Detroit. Today they returned with a new outlook on how to handle the situation and told the rest of the local 1112 members. First News reporter Noah Daniels Wilder talked to them after that meeting. He's live in studio with what they said. The UAW meeting today gave workers a chance to ask all the questions that they've been wanting to know for a whole week. The biggest question on everyone's mind is what now? I'm the one who's suffering, not these shareholders who are playing games with our lives. A feeling that's marinated in Felice Robinson and thousands of GM workers' minds since the company announced they would stop production in Lordstown. They, they hit us from the blind side. But at every turn, they're reminded of what's next. I'm going to have a job. Bills to pay. I do. I got to move. Tuitions to pay. For Sandy Rawberry, Derek Sanders, and Felice Robinson combined, they have more than 80 years of service to the plant. Service that could be wrapped up in one decision. These are the real lives behind the headlines. Lives UAW President David Green is fighting for. That gives me hope. Green went to Detroit last Friday to speak with the international UAW. He couldn't tell me exactly what was discussed, but he did leave the meeting with more faith. Knowing that the international has our back and they're up there fighting and supporting us, that gives me hope. And drive to be war ready for every worker. We're, we're not dead yet. We're going to keep we're going to keep fighting and we're going to get this done. Green sat down with union members, some as far as Michigan, to talk about next steps. I wasn't allowed in the meeting and workers couldn't tell me what was said either, but they did tell me their new slogan for GM. We invested in you. Now it's your turn to invest in us. It's time for them to invest in communities like us that need them. Robinson says workers are done being GM's doormat. Let GM know that we're here for the fight. The UAW is going to be here, and we're not going to let them walk over us anymore. I talked with a lot of workers as they came out of the meeting, and they all told me they have faith GM will bring another product to the plant, but they know it won't come without a fight. In the studio, Noah Daniels Wilder, WKBN 27 First News.